So a question that I get a lot and receive is, are supplements really that bad? And there seems to be this huge divide between people who are huge proponents of supplements and think that they're extremely necessary, and those who find that the entire supplement industry or supplements are a gimmick and they're false. So I'm here to resolve the discrepancy between the two and provide you with some factual information to help you make informed decisions. First, supplements aren't regulated. What this essentially means is that unlike prescription drugs that go through strict safety and effectiveness regulations and testings that must be proven to be safe and efficacious before they're put on the market, supplements aren't subject to those regulations or testings by the FDA. So what this essentially means is these manufacturers for supplements can get away with putting virtually anything in their products and listing anything that they want and putting it on the market because they aren't being regulated, they aren't being subject to tests, and they aren't being looked at until they are proven unsafe. You want to go ahead and optimize your nutrition and vitamin and antioxidants through what you're eating. These are a lot more bioavailable to your body and your organs, and they're able to be broken down and used in a better way than what actually supplements can do. Supplements aren't as bioavailable, and they should be only used to fill in the gaps that a diet or what normal eating doesn't contain. Third, make sure you're reading the label and doing your research. So because manufacturers can virtually get away with putting anything on their ingredient list in their label, they tend to put it as a proprietary blend a lot. And that essentially means that they have a certain blend that's specific to the manufacturer and the company that they use in their products. They may not list what's in the entire blend on the front of the bottle, so it's important for you to go back and screen what the ingredients are to make sure that you're not taking in something that would normally be bad. And then last, it's important that you start low and go slow with supplements. What you want to do is when you're starting to take supplements, you want to start at the lowest dose and start off one at a time, which means that if you have a bad reaction to one of them, then you, should, then you would automatically know which one it is instead of taking 10 at the highest dose and potentially having a reaction not knowing which one had caused it. So there you have it. I don't think supplements are entirely bad, but I do think that you need to exercise good judgment and be prudent about your supplement choices.